how to create a list of files from folder and subfolder in Microsoft Excel and create a hyperlink to them. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Power Query to create a list of files from folder and subfolders. And also you can create a link to the specific file from your Excel workbook. First, we have our folder here. In these folders, we have subfolder and also different types of file. And I want to create a complete list of these files into my Excel workbook. And once I have created that, I want to create a hyperlink so that once I click it, it will open that specific file. I'm not going to use any video or any programming tools. I'm going to use Power Query to solve this. Let's click on the data tab, click on new query and select from file and then from folder. Now I'm going to select that folder. This is the folder from where I want to extract all the names and I want to create hyperlinks. Okay. Click open. And now I'm going to click on transform. Okay. First thing I have to do is I have to select all the unwanted columns and click here remove column. Okay. So I have removed all the unwanted columns. Now I'm going to create a custom column that consists of the same text from the name column. So I'm going to click on add column, custom column, select name and click insert, click OK. So we have three columns now, name, folder path and custom. So I'm going to select the folder path first and then select the custom. And from the transform option, I'm going to select March column. And I'm going to name the column as URL. If I click OK, we have two columns left, name and URL. Name is the file name and URL is the total file path and file name included that's why we have named it to url okay now click on the file and select close and load to our first cell cell a1 is selected so i'm going to select on existing worksheet so it will be placed right here and then i'm going to click on load now it will be inserted into a table and our query has been loaded i'm going to close this so we have our name and url from all the folder and subfolder you can check it in the url here we have folder and here we have new folder and then we have another folder copy multiple data so we have listed all the folder from the main folder and all the subfolders okay so all the files we have in that main folder it will be added here okay now these links are not clickable these are not hyperlink okay so if i double click here click on another cell it will not work so we're going to add another column here as it's inside a table if i write here something table will be expanded and it will include the new column so i'm going to write here equal to hyperlink so we are going to use the hyperlink function so double click here link location will be this one and you can see as i have selected the first cell of a table it has included the entire table okay now i'm going to add comma here and our friendly name will be our file name okay and close parenthesis i'm going to press enter and you can see all the text has been inside a new column and let's rename this as link now i'm going to hide column b Okay, here we have file and we have link to all the files of that folder and all the files from the subfolders. Okay, so I'm going to select the first link here. If I double click here, if I click yes, we have our file. Okay, if I let's say click here, click yes, our file has been opened. So this is how all your hyperlink will work okay so let's check something if we create a new file here let's create a new text document and write here new text document so we just create a new file here okay close this and click here data and refresh up now let's find it here 
so here is our new text document so every time we create a file in that folder and once we refresh it it will be automatically updated in this link and it will always be clickable click yes and your file will be opened this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching